Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit and today I want to talk to you guys about the first steps to mastering Crisis 3. Now, I do have a lot of things to talk about as you can imagine, so in this video I just want to go over the basic steps and you'll probably think I'm brushing over a few things, but I will cover a lot of these things in depth in other videos. Now this video should be helpful to PC, PS3 and Xbox 360 users but first off I want to just talk to the PC guys about their settings and their controls when they first start out the game so basically um, I just set all my graphics settings to the lowest settings because uh, this will ensure that you get the smoothest gameplay and the highest frame rates. Now obviously when we go to play single player when the game comes out we're going to be totally maxing it out and uh, we're going to be hoping to make sure our PCs are running to their full potential and really check out what the graphics are like. But in multiplayer, if you want smooth frame rates and uh, awesome gameplay, then I highly recommend that you choose these settings here, same as me, and set everything to low. There's a couple of settings in here which we're going to talk about later on in the video as well. Now onto the controls. Basically there's a couple of bad default settings um, for like Nanovision and Visor. Uh, you're going to want to move them slightly more to the left on your keyboard just so your left hand can reach them. Uh, but it's all personal preference really for controls but just make sure you've set them up properly before jumping into a server. Uh, there's a couple of options that are actually only available while you're inside a server such as field of view and a lot of people are complaining that there's no field of view slider when actually there is. If you just go to the options menu in game uh, you'll see a field of view slider that can go from 55 up to 80. Uh, these two screenshots here are actually just field of view comparisons. There's 80 field of view and there's 55 field of view. I recommend the 80 field of view, that is what I use. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is sprint toggling and I highly recommend that you disable it because if it's enabled you can't actually continue to walk forward after sprinting unless you stop moving first. You'll see how effective disabling sprint toggling is when I show some gameplay later on in this video. Now the next and final thing that I need you guys to set up is your mouse sensitivity. Mouse sensitivity is very important, probably the most important thing that you're very comfortable with playing with your mouse. Actually if you open up the console in game you can get much more control over your mouse sensitivity to really set it to what you think works best for you. High sensitivity or low sensitivity, it's all personal preference. Alright, now that all that is out of the way, we can finally jump into a match and select a class now. As soon as you start, there's only four default classes available. Once you hit level 5, you can customise your own class. Level 5 takes maybe two or three rounds to get to. Um, once you hit level 5, I highly recommend that you leave the server and start looking and customising your own equipment. I also highly recommend that you do not use auto armour on your custom classes, as uh, in my eyes it's a pretty useless module and it's only going to hinder your skills. Alright guys, there's a few more bits and bobs we need to talk about before we get into some actual awesome gameplay footage. This here is your standard Hudley. I'm going to highlight a few things and talk about each. Right now is your armor and your stealth energy down at the bottom right there. Don't let those guys hit zero. Armor mode energy depletes when you take damage and you're in armor mode. Stealth mode depletes when you use stealth. Highlighted just now is your nanovision energy. This energy bar actually only appears when you use nanovision and it will hang around for a few seconds once you've stopped using nanovision. So it's a good way to keep an eye on your nanovision energy levels. Uh, highlighted just now is your current ammo count and the amount of ammo remaining in your gun. So if that hits zero, be wary and get ready to pick up another weapon or switch to your pistol. Up at the top right hand corner we have the current score, time remaining and who's in the lead. So make sure you're staying in the lead if you want to get a high win loss ratio. And highlighted just now is your standard minimap layout. You're the little yellow arrow, enemies are the red dots. Kill the red dots and reach the blue objective arrow if you want to win. One thing I hope you guys don't forget to use is your visor opening. Your visor allows you to tag enemies for your entire team. This highlights enemies in red and it allows you to see enemies and their positions through walls and other objects, allowing for some totally awesome air stomp moments on the crash site. Alright guys, finally I get to show you some gameplay footage while I talk to you about a few more things I feel that you need to know before you jump into some Crisis 3 gameplay. Uh, talking about the first four default classes, it's actually very hard to judge uh, which class or which weapon is the best since there's a lot of new players in the game and it's uh, hard to see which will be most effective against good players that you play with. Uh, my personal opinion is you should use the martial class if you want to get experience very quickly and I suggest you do get experience very quickly because once you hit level 5 maybe it'll take 2 or 3 rounds using the martial um, you'll be able to customise your own class and really customise your own class as fast as you possibly can this way you don't need to use auto armour and you'll also be able to level up suit modules and weapons that you use in your custom class now some tips about using stealth stealth is actually very visible when you transition into stealth mode so make sure you don't use stealth while you're in an open area. If you are going to use stealth use it while you're undercover uh, and then move to your new position that you're planning on moving to or move to find some enemies and then deactivate stealth and start shooting your enemies. 
Uh, also, remember when you jump from a high position, use armor mode before you hit the ground. Uh, this way, you won't take any falling damage. And obviously, if you take falling damage, then you're putting yourself at a serious disadvantage when fighting enemies because your health will be pretty low. Uh, they've actually removed the sort of animation where you would like crouch on the ground for a few seconds. It was in Crisis 2 after landing from a heavy fall, uh, which is good, which makes armor mode totally useful when you fall from a high place. So make sure you use armor mode. The best advice really that I can give you is just to explore the game as much as possible. Like take a few minutes before you start uh, your next round before you start playing again and just look at all the options that are available have a look around check out the challenges and the the leaderboards uh, have a look and see what's happening you'll see a sith member at the top of the leaderboards right now yeah that's right <laughs> not me unfortunately i've been too busy at university but i'm working my way up the ladder now um, check out those challenges for xp you'll get some bonus xp that way uh, that guy there just got taken out by a crash site. Make sure you don't get taken out by crash sites like that. Obviously it's very hard since the maps are all new to us to judge where the crash pod is going to land. But uh, obviously it's hard to dodge. But once we get all get to know the maps then eventually we'll know where the pods are going to land and we'll be able to dodge those. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I've got for you. If you feel like I missed out any basic tips, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to like post it in the description or something like that. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in some new videos tomorrow.